Hello, this is Seher from Easy Peasy and the topic we are going to discuss today is called as the genetic code. Now the genetic code or genes are present inside DNA in the form of a nucleotide sequence and that sequence is going to produce RNA from it and that RNA is going to produce protein from it. Now DNA is acting like a brain that is giving signal to our body RNA is acting like a postman who is taking message from the brain and giving it to the translation machinery to make that specific protein or enzyme from it. This whole process is called as central dogma. Now DNA, RNA and protein, they all are polymers and they are made up of monomers. DNA and RNA are made up of monomer called as nucleotide and protein is made up of monomer called as amino acids. Now for DNA and RNA, we have four different types of nucleotide. So in case of DNA, we will have cytosine, adenine, guanine, and thymine. And in RNA, this thymine will be replaced with uracil. For amino acids, we have 20 different types of amino acids. Now the question is, how do four type of nucleotides code for 20 amino acids? If we imagine that two nucleotide code for one amino acid, then let's see how many codes are generated with two nucleotide. So in this table, I'm taking the four different types of nucleotide on left hand side and four different types of nucleotide on the upper hand. And we'll make all the possible codes for 20 amino acids. Now let's make all the possible codes with these two nucleotides and see how many nucleotides are going to get generated. So in this case, we generated 16 different types of code and that is not enough for 20 amino acids. It means that the genetic code is made up of three different types of nucleotide sequence. And this nucleotide sequence will produce a particular amino acid from it. Now let's see how many possible codes can be generated if we are taking three different types of nucleotide. So in this case, as you can see, I took four different types of nucleotides on left hand side, four different type of nucleotides on the upper hand, and four different type of nucleotides on my right hand side. The code will be generated with this first letter, followed by the second letter, and followed by the third letter. So let's see how many genetic codes can be produced with three different types of nucleotides. So if we assume and count all the possible situations, we can make 64 different type of code and they are more than enough for 20 amino acids. Now let's take the same table from a book. So this is the official table present in the books of biochemistry. These are again the same type of nucleotides present on left hand side, on the upper hand and on the right hand side. And all the codes are generated. But in this picture you can also see which code is going to produce which type of amino acid. Just like in this picture, these two different codes are producing a single amino acid here. So more than one genetic code can be used for a single amino acid. So in this case, UUU and UUC is going to produce phenylalanine. All the amino acids present in this table is in blue color, but methionine is present in green color here. Now why it is in green color? Because AUG is basically the start codon for the translation machinery and the code for methionine. So methionine is basically the first amino acid present in most proteins. We have other different types of codes here that is not going to code for any type of amino acid. Rather, they are going to code for a stop codon and give signal to the translation machinery to stop the process of translation. So these codes are called as stop codons. Now DNA, which have more than 50 different types of genetic code without any stop codon, is called as open reading frame. Now these codes are universal in every type of organism present inside this world. 
There are some kind of exceptions, and these exceptions include mitochondria, some bacteria, and some single-cell eukaryotic organisms. But other than that, these codes are common in every living organism present inside this world. Now this genetic code is so constant and without any commas, so if something happened to only one nucleotide present inside the DNA, it will reverse or change the whole codon situation and will make a different type of protein. This can be so lethal that it can order the cell to go in the process of apoptosis or it can cause different type of mutations inside the body. Now, in a single day, thousands of proteins are translated in our body in the form of our blood cells or in the form of our hair or nails every day. But we don't face these type of mutations all the time. So we need to be thankful on our creation and on our creator. Bless you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.